Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to learn about performing a t-test in Excel. Now, I am going to assume that you've come to this video because you know what a t-test is and you understand the terminology. All I want to do in this video is quickly show you how to perform the t-test. So the first step is to install the Analysis Toolpack add-in. And to do that, we go to File, Options, Add-ins. Down here it says Manage Excel Add-ins. Click on Go and tick Analysis Toolpack. If it's already ticked, then it's already installed. Click on OK. Go to the Data tab and you should see a little button in the Analysis group called Data Analysis. Click that. If you scroll down this list, you'll see your t-test options here three different methods that you can use. So the dialog box is the same for all three methods. So I'll just start with the first one. Click on OK. So you've got your two input ranges, which you select. Got your assumed alpha value, which you can change if you like. And then you choose your output range, which I'll say is here. Click on OK, and there is your t-test. If you wanted to use a different method for your t-test, then you use the same steps, data analysis. So I'll go for two sample assuming equal variances. Click on OK, choose my ranges, choose my output range. and I get the results for that method. Now this p-value, which is the thing you'll probably be most interested in, you could also calculate using a function. So there is a function called t.test. Our first argument is array one, so we select the first sample, comma, and then our second sample. Tails, so you choose whether you have a one-tailed distribution or a two-tailed distribution. We'll say one-tailed for this, comma, and then you choose the, the type of t-test you're doing. And because I want to mimic what we're doing up here, I'll choose paired, comma, and you'll see that I get the same result as we've got here. And I could do the same for a two-sample with equal variance test. So equals t dot test. Choose my samples. So it's a one tail distribution. And we'll go for two sample with equal variance as we have up here. And so you can see these two results are the same. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.